All right, what we're going to do is uh, examine this fuel system on here. It's called a fuel meter uh, for a potato cannon and the general principles and how it works and the math necessary to, uh, to build one of these. It's not too bad. You start with a tank of uh, some kind of gas. In this case, we're using map gas. You make a little connection between that tank and a pressure regulator so that you can regulate the pressure in this line. That goes over to a place where there's a ball valve, a piece of pipe, another ball valve, and then, then that goes into the gun. So ultimately what you're going to do is measure some fuel with this pipe and some pressure. Close this end, open that end, and the fuel goes into the gun. It's, it's that simple. Now here's the math. Things you have to know to do this are the chamber volume, the mix of fuel you want, how, what kind of pressure you want to run on your system, uh, what the atmospheric pressure is where you live, oddly enough, and the uh, size of the inside radius on your on your pipe. Uh, from that, you can actually do a calculation, as ugly as that is, to figure out how long your pipe should be. So in this example, for uh, for my gun, I ended up using a three quarter inch steel pipe. Uh, I, where I live, it's about fourteen point five three psi atmospheric pressure. I wanted to run around thirty five psi. Uh, the fuel mix for my map gas was 4.6, and the chamber volume on my gun is 384.45. With uh, all those numbers plugged in, it came out to about 13 and 3 quarter inches, roughly. So I ended up using uh, a 12 inch piece of 3 quarter inch pipe, and by the time I added all the other little pieces and measured it all, it came out to, uh, to about 36 psi, uh, and it was exactly what I needed. The good news is, you can go to www.advancedspuds.com, spudtoolonline.htm, and there's this uh, spreadsheet that will do all of this math for you. Now, you do have to know how big your chamber is, what fuel mix you want to use, and that kind of stuff, uh, but you don't have to do the math. They do it all for you. Uh, you can also look up uh, what your atmospheric pressure is there, too. I think they have a chart at the bottom. Very, very useful site, but I just wanted to get you a, a, an overview of what this math was all about and uh, why you have to know these numbers. Alright, now that you have your cannon and you want to make some barrels for it, you want to know what's the right length barrel for this cannon. Uh, a little bit of basic math, you can figure out pretty close what's going to be the perfect length barrel for this gun. In this example, we're going to use a, uh, a two and a half inch tennis ball barrel, which even for this gun is, is going to be eight and a half feet long, roughly. Uh, as you can see, the finished product here is, uh, is pretty big. Uh, that's one of the disadvantages of making a large gun is all your barrels are huge. The, the chamber to barrel ratio, the CB ratio, is about 0.75 to 1 for a, uh, for a map gas gun. Uh, the, another way of saying that is that the uh, barrel should be one and one-third times the size of the chamber. Now the volume of a cylinder, there's a little uh, formula for that. So the calculation for your barrel length is basically, in my case, this example, uh, 384.45 cubic inch gun. Uh, one and a third times that is 512.6 cubic inches. Uh, the barrel size I want to use today is two and a half, so that makes the radius one and a quarter. So you plug all those numbers in, and you get uh, about 104.43 inches, about eight feet eight inches roughly. And uh, the barrel I've got here is eight and a half feet, which is actually just a little short.